In this region, which is probably the most biologically significant in terms of richness in both terrestrial and marine species diversity, its hardworking men and women tap into their shared strength and resources in order to rise above the challenges, innovate, adapt to a situation, and move forward to deliver the kind of public service that is anchored on sustainable, inclusive, and resilient development. Guided by the message of Secretary Maria Antonia Yulu Loizaga to strive for efficiency and technical excellence, Juan Mimaropa endeavored to work on the modernization of their information management systems to push forth the DENR standpoint agenda. Harnessing the power of technology to ensure efficient and transparent transactions, the DENR Mimaropa launched an online system for the application of wildlife export certification for non cites species, such as the butterflies in Marinduque. Also in consonance with the provisions of Republic Act 11032 or the Ease of Doing Business and Efficient Government Service Delivery Act of 2018, the online system provides beneficial to the clients coming from the island provinces. As it cuts the time, cost and effort that they would exert when traveling for the application of permits and shipment of products. The regional office utilizes electronic payment for the required fees for the permits and DENR services. Clients can pay at their most convenient time and preferred payment methods, such as bank transfer and digital or mobile wallet. And also last year, the DENR Mimaropa witnessed the groundbreaking of the Data Management Mapping and Operations Center in Penro, Palawan. The facility is envisioned to be the convergence of various IT infrastructures and communication technologies that would allow for speedy and seamless flow of information that is critical for planning and decision-making. Not forgetting the welfare of its internal clients, Penro, Palawan also implemented an online payroll system for faster and more accurate computation of net pay and deductions of the employees. The system also notifies the personnel of the availability of their salary through SMS and allows them to access their respective pay slip online. Also in 2022, the Environmental Management Bureau Mimaropa started utilizing the Beehive, a comprehensive user-friendly database system that stores, manages, and retrieves large amounts of data from various sources and formats. It features advanced security measures and can be customized to support a wide range of use cases with features such as SWM, the ArcGIS, greenhouse gases, air quality, queuing with client satisfaction survey, issues and concerns, convention of ideas, and more. Beehive offers real-time data access, improved data accuracy, enhanced collaboration and communication between LGUs, establishments, and the Bureau. In the Mimaropa region, large-scale mining and mineral processing companies such as the two-time ASEAN Minerals Awardee, the Rio Tuba Nickel Mining Corporation based in Bataraza, Palawan, exemplifies how mining can be done responsibly and sustainably while ensuring that the rich biodiversity within the mine site is protected. The Mines and Geosciences Bureau in Mimaropa, in close partnership with its regional counterpart in DENR and EMB, the Palawan Council for Sustainable Development, the local government units, non-government organizations, and other partner agencies and institutions regularly monitor the mining projects, environmental management, and reforestation performance, and compliance with applicable rules and regulations concerning their operations. With a strict implementation of Republic Act No. 7942 or the Philippine Mining Act of 1995, 
and other related laws and policies such as the DENR Administrative Order No. 2022-04 or the Enhancing Biodiversity Conservation and Protection in Mining Operations. The MGB fulfills its mandate to ensure that progressive rehabilitation be undertaken in every stage of mining operation to restore mine out areas close to its natural ecosystems. On February 28, 2023, a tanker carrying 800 liters of industrial fuel oil was reported to have capsized in the boundary of Romblon and Oriental Mindoro. With the guidance and instruction from the DENR top management, the DNR Mimaropa Regional Executive Director Lormelin Claudio immediately instructed Romblon Pedro, Arnold Blaza, Oriental Mindoro Pedro, Alan Valle, and Socorro Senro Rodel Boiles to coordinate with the Philippine Coast Guard as well as with Governors Jose Riano and Yumerlito Dolor to mobilize joint response teams that would monitor the incident. And as reports confirm that the vessel sank off the waters of Nauhan in Oriental Mintoro and caused massive oil spill around other towns in the province, Red Claudio has led the team of DENR and EMB Mimaropa in responding to the oil spill incident. With Secretary Maria Antonia Yulo Loizaga at the helm since day one, Together with the members of the created DENR MT Princess Empress All Spill Task Force, headed by the Undersecretary Marilo Ernie, DENR Mimaropa embarked on a relentless effort to contain the spill and prevent it from further damaging the environment as it threatened to reach the Verde Island Passage. It strengthened its collaboration and acknowledged the role of different agencies such as the University of the Philippines Marine Science Institute, the U.S. government, the Japanese Disaster Relief Expert Team, the South Korean government, the National Mapping and Resource Information Authority, the Biodiversity Management Bureau, and the Ecosystems Research Development Bureau. When the oil spill reached the northern part of Palawan, Red Claudio alerted Penro Felizardo Kayatok, who headed to Casillan Taytay, to personally coordinate with the PCG and LGUs in order to perform prompt measures to contain the slick. Amidst late-night emergency meetings, regular on-site inspection, water sampling, interagency collaboration and coordination, relentless support to the cash for work program for affected fisher folks, and extensive cleanup efforts that posed threats to health and safety, the DENR Mimaropa went on with a firm resolve to never give up. It chose to persevere in fine ways in order to fulfill the mandate to protect the environment, much so in this time of adversity. It chose to build on its credibility as the foundation of a good relationship with various sectors and even the affected communities to ensure everybody's on board in helping the affected areas recover from their losses. Because at the end of the day, Juan Mimaropa remembers the mission to deliver excellent service to the people and to the country. and fulfill the divine mandate to do all that we can for His glory. <laughs>